Hey guys, welcome back, Thrifty and OKC. If you're just now watching for the first time, I am a thrift store ba thrift store lover based in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Um, and I do a lot of haul videos, which is not actually what I'm gonna do for you today. I also do a lot of jewelry and baggies, which is kind of what I'm gonna do for you today. So I did get this bag at Goodwill. It was $60, which kind of hurts me on the inside. But it did look like there might be some pretty cool brooches in here. At least enough to make my money back. Um, which means if I found something else, that could be pretty cool. Because I should have enough to make my money back. I would not buy a $60 bag if I did not see enough to make my money back. Because I am a cheapo and that would make me really nervous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna open the bag, I'm gonna see what I find, and then I will show you guys. You can see there is some tag stuff in here. So that's stuff that's gonna have sat in a case um, and that they bagged up. So I'm not super pumped about any of that, obviously, because if that is still sitting there, that is probably does not have any value. But it looks like there is some mix of some other things thrown in. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna see what I find, and then I will come back and show you the goods, not anything that I didn't keep because it'll take forever to go through this bag because it's pretty big. My guess is it's eight, maybe pounds, maybe 10 pounds, I don't know. Might go weigh it before I open it. Okay, I'm gonna dig in and I'll get back with you. Okay, so I'm gonna jump right in and show you a lot of what I got out of this bag. Um, it is one of those bags that is well worth the money um, in that I can definitely make my money back plus some. However, I am here, FYI. Um, however, it's one of those bags that's gonna take me a lot to make my money back. So just to show you like some of the things I kept, and I'm not really sure, like I haven't looked at value on any of this kind of stuff here. Um, but just some buttons. I think these came out of the Target, yeah, like out of the dollar bin. But I can easily use those. And little gift things or something. These little peanuts earrings were really cute. Likely from, oh yeah, Walmart right there. I mean, nothing of high value in this. These were, I thought, really interesting. Somebody got rid of a Raggedy Ann or Andy collection um, and so there are a few of different like Raggedy Ann and Andy pins um, and again I'm not necessarily going to go through everything because I'll show you here in a second why not um, but these were really cool and they seemed to do okay like one was going for anywhere from like seven to ten dollars so I'm hoping I can lot those up and then maybe throw in these two little guys here as well so that was definitely a keep for me and then this is just a ton of oh I hit my light this is just a ton of let me see if I can kind of change that back where it was these little plasticky and there's a ton you can see I kind of throw them all in a bag but for the most part it's a lot of these little holiday pins that they sold at um, like Hallmark stores. And there's some other plasticky ones in here, but there's Valentine's Day and Halloween, Thanksgiving. There's some Christmas ones. I think I counted them. There's like 30 of them. So I will probably lot those up. It looks like these um, sold decently, especially when they were lotted up. There were a couple of older Disney pins, which I will probably keep. And y'all, don't judge my nails. I tried Jamberry. I obviously, I mean, you can see they have ridges in them. And then I got really mad by the time I got to the pinky and had about had it and did not do my pinkies. So, but I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to get this video going. Quite a few little pumpkins. So anyway, so I mean, this I should, I will lot all these up and I'll either do it by holiday or I'll just put them all together as one and call it a day. Um, and see where they go. I will auction those likely on eBay because I have no idea. So I'm gonna go really fast through 
these. Oh, I have two things. So I have only two things out of the bag that I kept. I think, I don't think I have anything else in here that were not brooches. That bag was full of brooches. So I thought I had seen some brooches in there. I had no idea how many brooches were in there. What I'm gonna show you is what I kept. Um, there were some that were damaged that I did not keep. So outside of that, I only found two pieces that were not pin related, you know, including those Hallmark ones that were pin related. So I got this little bracelet here. It does not have any kind of maker's mark on it, but it looks like it's made pretty well. It is heavy. Um, I thought it was really pretty. So that was a keeper for me. And then I was surprised this was still in the case because the closure, these mark um, are March 925 and they do test 925. But I thought this was a pretty, just little beaded summery necklace. And so I'll likely throw that up somewhere. I probably would not have messed with it if this pieces did not test as 925. But since they did, it might be worth my while. So anyway, so back to my brooches. I keep hitting my light. I apologize on that. Um, I'm going to go through these really fast because as you can see, there are a ton of them and there are some cute ones. There are some gaudy ones. I mean, there's a little bit of everything in here. So I'm going to start out and just show you kind of what I kept. Um, so I, you know, eighties always does well for me, even though this looks cheap as all get out, it is totally eighties and would be perfect on a vest. And I'll just kind of set them over there. I think I had a few of these scenes if I remember right. Um, I, I usually will lot something like this up. It's another kind of a little bit of an art deco we look to it. A lot of these did not have a mark. A lot of them had JJ on them, which I love. Um, the JJ brooches, as you know, they're really kitschy looking to me and funky. So I enjoy those. This I will lot up with Christmas brooches. This is another, I, I think there's a few gemstone-y ones in here. This may be another one that just have these cheap plasticky gemstones. Um, and I may lot all those up together just because they kind of have a similar appeal. Oh, it looks like some sun might be coming out in my window. Oh, there's another one of those. So again, those are totally 80s looking to me. This was a pretty little snowflake. Um, I'll probably throw it in with the Christmas pins. It is also, oh no, it's not a pendant. That's a lie. And that was a lie. So like Maury Povich. This one, I think the pin is broken. Yep, so the pin is broken, but it was a pendant as well. So I have a lot of um, necklaces. I may just string that one up on there. Here was another little snowflakey pin. Again, I mean, $2, I'll take it off the card, but I'll lot it up with my Christmas brooches, and a lot of people will use those for crafts. This is a pretty little brooch. It is probably a little cheapo depot. Um, could be handmade, uh, handmade of something. I don't know. It's kind of got um, weird back on it. Uh, lot, but lot up. Brooches are always good, in my opinion, to lot up. So I rarely ever get rid of a brooch unless it is just hideously ugly or is, um, really damaged. So just, just plain little. And a lot of these that I would sell individually, like the flower, like these two I might put together. Um, but I would put these up probably, I mean, you can tell, you know, they're not fancy. This is glued in. Um, but I would, might put these up anywhere between 15 and 20 for both of them. So this was kind of a bag that was like that, where I felt like another little butterfly. So I could lot those butterflies up together if I wanted to. I've got another little one here that's a little twinsy. Um, so it's a bag where I can definitely make the $60 back, but it's going to take me a lot of work to make the $60 back, if that makes sense. Especially if I listed everything individually, I would really need to list everything. Um, I would really need to lot up as much as I could. Again, another little, so maybe you do a big and a small. This one's a little more yellowed. Actually, those are the same size, so I couldn't do a big and a small. Um, this one, the pin is gone though, it looks like. So I would still sell this and just do it as a pendant. Another little cameo. And again, I mean, you can see there's definite wear and tear on a lot of these. These are not your high end brooches. Um, this one I thought was really pretty. And this one, it, I don't think it had a stamp either this on it. Most of these are unsigned. But 
but sometimes it's hard for me. I'm not really sure why I kept this one now that I pull it out. Sometimes that's how that goes. Another little snowflake. I could go in with the snowflake lot. Sometimes I get really excited because like, in, especially in this case, another one of those florals I was talking about where I kept pulling stuff out and I was like, oh, this is good. This is good. You can see the glue on the back. So in my mind, I'm thinking this is a good bag. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. In reality, I mean, it is a good bag, but it's a lot less work to find four or five pieces that you can sell and make $100 than a whole bunch of pieces that you're gonna have to sell for smaller amounts to reach that. Now this I did love, I loved this. I don't know if it's a little off center. Um, it, it flips up, which I thought was interesting. It looks like it has a magnet maybe. The magnet doesn't really work for me. It is a JJ brooch. That'll sell fast, I bet you anything, if I don't keep it. Um, I don't know what this is. I think I just threw it in there because I didn't know what to do with it. This is a pretty little Santa with the little rhinestones. This I might sell individually. I think it's interesting enough being a moon. This would be a lot up piece. I'm, I'm pretty sure there were a few hearts in there. So that's one of the hearts. If, if I usually, if I can find more, if I can find three, I will lot them up. This was a cute little Winnie the Pooh. It's a little Winnie the Pooh Christmas. Y'all know I love my Disney. This was like a little Spider-Man heart or something. This is a little faux Dumbo. I'm not really sure what I'll do with either one of those. Those might wind up going into a, a crafting bag. A little bar pin, so cute. These are really cute to me at like the top of a collar. Just gives you a little pizzazz. Another little pretty hand painted. This one is pendant only because the pin is broken. And y'all, I'm telling you, I still got a ton in here to go. So, for getting bored, I apologize. Uh, this had a maker's mark. I could not find it. That one I thought was a, a really nice brooch. There are some in here that are really nice. And then some that are just cheapo depot, and that's okay. It's a little basket, a little flower basket. Probably needs a little bit of cleaning here. A little Christmas bell with rhinestones. That'll go in a lot. Although this one is a little bit nicer, the rhinestones are prong set. So it's always a little nicer when you have a prong set rhinestone. Another Christmas tree. I love those Christmas trees to a lot of, oh, this was one of the ones I saw in the bag that I think I pointed out to you guys. This frog is a cutie patootie. I will put him up and he will probably sell. He has a little magnet right there too. I don't know what that is for, but he didn't have a maker's mark, but I thought that guy was really cute. He's part of the reason I bought the dang bag. Another butterfly to go with the butterfly lot up. Um, these are really weird. I have two, a couple of Scotty dogs, but look, I mean, I don't know. That's just an odd placement to me for those stones. What say you? Do you agree? <laughs> I feel like, but they're Scotty dogs, and I do really well with the Scottish Terriers. I mean, really any dogs, but Scotty dogs especially. Tootie McTooterson, I cannot get this loose. Well, the, oh, there it goes. Now the other one's caught up. So this is just a little dangle with the little Scotty dogs. Again, would be really cute right at the top of your collar with the collar hanging over. I don't think this one had a maker mark either. Um, I would. These are really different types of brooches. So even though they're both Scotties, I would probably sell those separately. Another little butterfly. This butterfly is really pretty. I would probably separate this one out. I like this. It's got that Aurora Borealis, that iridescent stone. I think that's what that's called. And then all prong set. It did not have a maker's mark, but I really liked that one. So I, I doubt I will lock that one up. Some hearts. Could go in with my heart lot. Um, this one has uh, this pewter... I cannot, you may be able to make that out, but I cannot. Seagull, Fine Pewter Canada. I did look this up. These aren't selling for big money, but um, it will definitely go into a lot. Another little flower heart. Will I put this one in the flower lot or in the heart lot? You'll never know. Well, you might know if you go look at my Etsy shop one of these days. And most of this jewelry is gonna go on Etsy. I didn't say that. I sell most of my vintage on Etsy. This is cats. You know I love cats. I think this one was a JJ or a Jerry. Yep, it's a JJ. Nope, it's AJC. 
So AJC, but cats, I mean, I list these, bam, sell them all day long. Not big money, 12 bucks, 14 bucks, 15 bucks, but that adds up, more butterflies. This one was a cute little gardener brooch. I'll clean that one up and, and list that up. I do pretty well with garden too. That's a JJ. Guys, I still have quite a few in here. I apologize. This a lot was something. I get a, I don't think those are chipped. I think they're all pretty good. This is a pretty little little round pin with the pearl. These are my little penguins. Little penguin guys. This one's got some paint missing on his head. So I may just sell this one separately or price it just for this one. And this one is kind of a bonus for somebody who may want it. I really like this. This is a really weird brooch. So this is like a little bunny who is looking in the mirror. And it's super interesting. That's one thing I love about brooches is they can just be weird. And it's just like one little touch of weird. And it, it gets people talking to you or asking about things. I don't know. This one has no maker's mark. So, but so strange. If anybody's ever seen that before, let me know. Because I feel like it should be something because it's so odd. This is another little JJ frog. I just love the JJ, y'all. I love the JJ. Not the JJ, the JJ. It's okay if you love the JJ too. That's okay. Um... I think this is a snowman, so that'll go in a little Christmas lot. I'm getting closer here to the end. But y'all see how many brooches are in here? So many, like a little faux marcasite heart. This was pretty. This one I think had Austria on it, so that one was a really pretty one. So that'll list separately. But I mean, you can see I've got enough in here easy to make my money back. A little pearl one here. And a lot of these pins are bent. That's not a deal breaker. A lot of them you can bend back. I mean, I wouldn't try to do it on one that's really expensive because you could break the pin, but most of them will bend back. Another little cheapy crystal one I can put in that crystal lot. This was a funny little acrylic looking Winnie the Pooh. And I think he lights up. I, I haven't figured that out yet. But it looks like he does something. We push something somewhere. Oh, you turn it on. I remember now. And he'll light up. That might have to be a keeper. I can wear that like on my mouse ears at night at Disney World. Just a little simple music note here, a treble clef. And that, oh, I think that one is Jerry's. I cannot see that one. Maybe you can see that one. I'm not gonna dwell on it and I'm gonna keep moving. This dragonfly was pretty cool, dragonfly. So it's not silver because it's got some wear and tear. Man, I wish it was. I think that one may, Oh, uh, no, I don't think it has a mark. I thought that might, it might, that might be a D. I wish I could remember all these ones that I looked at. I'm down to three, guys, hang with me. We're almost to the end. Another little kitty cat with the pearl. This is an actual pin. This is what I would consider a pin, not a brooch. And then a little pretty star uh, leaf. Yeah, leaf, I would say a leaf. And then a pretty little moon as well. So, I mean, you can see I have got plenty. This could keep me busy for weeks just doing these. Um, plenty, plenty, plenty here uh, to list up. But again, would I rather have five or six pieces? I don't know. It doesn't seem as exciting when you only pull out five or six pieces that you can make a couple hundred dollars on. When you're actually doing the listing, it seems real exciting because while there are quite a few really cool pieces in here, this is a lot of listing time to make what I would prefer to make in a few um, a few listings. So anyway, if you like what you saw, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Any interaction with the channel really helps me. I turned 46 years old yesterday and I am working really hard to grow my YouTube channel. That's kind of my new year resolution, um, both for January, but also for my own personal new year, which started yesterday. So I really appreciate the views and I really appreciate, um, anybody who leaves a comment or shares any knowledge that they have about any of these pieces. I appreciate your watching. Have a great one and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.